Hi, everyone. <clears throat> hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, everyone. Hi, rookie. <laughs> hi, everyone. I will let everyone get, take a second. Rookie, stop it. I will let everyone take a second and kind of trickle in as always here. Uh, I just want to put Rookie away. Rookie, come on, let's go. Good boy. All right, so welcome to all my newbies today and welcome back to all my friends who have been here with me for the past almost roughly 10 days. So for all my newbies today, um, I just want to do a little bit of a brief introduction. So hello, I'm Emma, and this is my workout program. So originally, this was supposed to be a 10-day workout, right? I wanted to kind of help everyone get through this quarantine and get on a schedule and be accountable and stay fit while we stay home. But I've gotten such great um, reactions and traction from this that I've decided that I'm going to continue doing it for all of you at least throughout this quarantine. So I hope that comes as good news to you. Um, and so every day, you know, the past 10 days or so, we've been working on different body parts each day. Every workout ends up being between 20 and 30 minutes and we focus on a different body part. So we've done butt, we've done arms, we've done abs, we've done cardio. So today we are going to kind of fuse a lot of these exercises together and we're going to be doing a full body workout. So that is the plan for today. We are going to be doing a circuit. So a circuit is a group of exercises. Today it'll be about 12 exercises. We're gonna do it two times through. It is a combination of a bunch of different types of exercises. It's you know high intensity, it's cardio, it's strength training, it's a lot of things combined. So when I do this kind of a workout, I was explaining this yesterday to my followers. When I do high intensity or a full body torch, I don't love to do a super boot campy type of workout. I think it just kills you and drains you. As you will see, I have a little bit of a different approach to fitness. I'm all about form. So follow along with me as best you can. You always have the option of modifying. That is absolutely fine. The goal is to keep you moving and fluid and up on your feet. Try not to take a break. Instead, try to modify. So last piece of housekeeping. Before most of my workouts, I like to do sort of a, an intention. I think it kind of sets the tone for the workout and really helps us focus and realize why we're here and why we're doing this. So, you know, thinking about putting all of these workouts together and, and you know, in the in, in togetherness, right, got me kind of thinking about all of us. So let's let this workout kind of resemble unity. Yes, we are all in this coronavirus quarantine together, but we're also all in this workout together. So let's just kind of remember that we're not alone here. Um, we're rarely actually ever alone, right? When you think about it. So let's try to just remember that we're part of a bigger group here. Um, we're all in this together and let's just work hard and have some fun. Okay, so hopefully your mat is down by now. As I mentioned, we're gonna be doing a circuit, okay? So you're gonna do your best at following along with me. So the very first exercise we're gonna do are jacks. So everybody, let's move with me. So we go out, in, out, up, out, in, out, up. Okay, now you are more than welcome to stay here. This is low impact. If you want more of a burn, we're gonna, we're gonna hop it. So out, in, out, up. Okay, so we're breathing here. Make sure you breathe the entire time. We're doing each workout for about 30 seconds. Each exercise, I should say. So, as I said, form, 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 form. That's what I'm all about. 
from the side view. I don't want you here. I want you straight up and down. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Down on the floor. I'm gonna turn a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so we're gonna do a traditional leg raise. Okay, now, when you leg raise, it's up and down, up and down. Let's go. Follow me, hands on the floor. Now listen, I don't want this type of move. Up and down, up. I want a small, small, small range of motion. So that's how you keep the abs constantly engaged. So small, 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 and small. We aren't throwing the legs anywhere. Head is down. Don't stress out the neck. Okay. There's a spider on the floor that is really creepy, but I'm gonna do my abs anyway. Okay, now you guys, one note. I don't want your hands under your butt, okay? People who tell you to do that clearly don't understand what we're supposed to be doing here, okay? Your lower abs, your back, the small of your back should be flat on the ground. You should be aiming to keep that lower back on the ground the entire time. Now give me a crunch up at the top. Exhale on the way up. So, beautiful. You are just engaging the abs the entire time. You feel it? I bet you do. Three, two, rookie, seriously, one, he's usually very non-intrusive, but apparently today he wants to be annoying. All right, everybody, sit back like this, we're going to do some tricep dips. So I want you on your heels here, okay? Here we go. We just go down and up and down and up. You actually don't have to straighten the arms all the way every time. I'm okay with you staying a little bit bent. That is totally, totally fine with me. I would prefer you with your knees bent rather than here. I think that leaves opportunity for you to just flop down, okay? And we don't want that. So yeah, just a simple movement, just like this. It's really, really great. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You are already feeling that, aren't you? Everybody up. Okay, I want traditional squats. Traditional squats, for me, are feet open. I will rarely have you do a squat like this. Rarely will ever happen. So let's squat and I'm going to talk. So whenever you squat, I want the butt under and tight. Squeeze it at the top. Tight at the top. Abs are in tight. Okay? When you squat, I don't want to see you leaning forward. You are straight up and down like you're up against a wall and you are squatting it out. If you don't already know this, I am a former ballerina. So, all of my workouts are designed to make you long, lean, not bulky. And what happens is, a lot of people think that doing these squats with heavy weights or turning their feet in is gonna make them have a better butt or a smaller stomach, but it's truly only gonna make you bulky. So, Pull it in here, we pulse it out. Make sure you're breathing. Do me a favor, try to lift your toes off the ground. You feel how much more? Yup. Feel it right here in those inner thighs. Chest is proud. Chest is proud means we're not sinking. We're proud. Proud movements like we have a light 
that's radiating off of us. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Watch me. Up on my toes and down. Up on my toes and down. This is where it happens, the change happens, because you're burning out your legs. You can feel your heart rate kind of really going fast here. That is because you're working your metabolism. This is cardio. That's also strength training at the same time. If you cannot do this, just do a regular squat, no big deal. But I figure why not throw in a little calf exercise if I can, why not? So I'm all about efficiency. I love efficiency, meaning I don't want you to have to work out with me for an hour. I want you to have 30 minutes at the most and get an amazing workout and then be able to go do whatever the heck you want to do. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Okay. Keep a bend in those knees. Okay. Now watch me. Take the right leg and right arm back and side, back and side. Flow with me back and side. So this is essentially a chair pose for all you yogis. I want the weight in the back left heel, the back left heel. Try to lift the toes up of that left foot. What does that do? It puts the pressure all in the butt. Beautiful, let's flow. Let's go, pick up the pace. You're feeling it in that left leg, I know you are. That's good. Let's go, three, two, hang in there, one. Meet me back on your mat, we're gonna do swimmers. Ab swimmers. Okay, we are down on the mat. A swimmer is where you kick, kick your legs out straight, heads up, and you go like this with your hands at your feet. You're literally like you're swimming. Let's go in three, two, one. So, legs are straight. Feet are on a 45 degree angle. You're breathing. Your heels are like as if they want to touch the wall in front of you. And your, your lower back is flat on the ground. Let's go. Eight, six, four, two, and let it relax. Come back up. Come on, right back up. We're moving. We're moving right into the next move. So. For my friends who were with me doing kickboxing the other day, we're gonna incorporate a kickboxing move. So, it's a side kick. Bottom foot is turned out, okay? So your bottom foot, so you're not here, you're here. And we're just gonna go kick, curtsy lunge. Kick, curtsy lunge. Now, let's go, flow with me. Arms stay regularly just in front of you like this. If it helps you, you can kick down, kick, whatever works for you. But I just want that. So what this is doing is working your opposition. So you're working that right leg, obviously you're kicking it right out, but you're also working your entire left leg and butt. Yep, you're starting to sweat. So am I. Abs are in tight. I don't care how high you kick. I want your form right. Four, three, two, stomach's in, and one, curtsy. Beautiful. Okay, also kickboxing move. We're gonna do just a standard front kick. Okay, front kick, start with the arms up, and then we bring it out, out. Okay, so flow with me. Now, again, I don't care how high the leg comes up. I just want you to crunch your abs when the leg comes up. So crunch and crunch and crunch. It's okay to have a little bit of a bend in that foot, or you can try to keep it straight. Use the momentum 
from your arms to bring that leg up. This is amazing for your abs, guys. Amazing. And your legs. Four, three, two, and one. I want fast feet, let's go. Fast feet. Breathing it out. If you want, you can add a jab, 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 jab. Breathe it out. Exhale, exhale, in. Exhale, exhale, in. Exhale, exhale, in. Four, three, two, one. Circuit number one is done. Amazing job. Yep, you had a sip of water. Not easy, right? I told y'all, form is so key, everyone. Form is super duper important. Try to remember your form and listen to my cues and listen to me. All right, second round through, you're more comfortable with the exercises. We start with jacks or you can modify. Let's flow. Remember why we're all doing this. What's our intention for today? We're in this together. We're in this coronavirus together. We're stuck at home together. So why not work out and improve ourselves together, right? Let's do something good for one another and for each other. And let's motivate each other. Let's go, come on. Cheer each other on. This is the time. Chest is proud. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Down the mat. Leg raises. Give me those leg raises. I'm going to make sure my spider is in here. Okay. Leg raises. Here we go. Up. Down. Up. Down. Head is on the ground. Range of motion is small. Okay. Legs are straight. Squeeze that belly. Squeeze it. Toes are like as if they're pointed back to your head. Like they're pointing back to your face. Don't drop that leg all the way down, okay? I want the leg to hover and lift. Hover and lift. Now give me that crunch. Leg up, crunch. We're breathing down. Elbows are out. I don't want your elbows in like this. No, I want your elbows out. Don't cheat. Up and down. Let's flow. Let's go. I want to see you guys work. Put in the effort. Up and down. Let's go. Four. Three. Let's go. Two. And one. Beautiful. Turn around. Give me those tricep dips. Everybody up. This is full body. You are going to feel the burn tomorrow and probably the next day. All right, I wanna see those tricep dips. Let's go. You can bring the butt up a little bit higher. That is good for you. I don't want those shoulders up. Like, I want those shoulders down and back. So think about working your back as much as your arms and your triceps in this workout. You feel that change? Let's go. Eight, seven, six. Four. Beautiful. Okay, everybody up. We are taking it back into our squats. You know the drill. Feet are turned out. I want those bodies straight up and down. Like you're one of those horses on the merry-go-round. You have a pole straight up and straight down. Arms can be here. Arms can be here. You can incorporate a little bit of an arm workout. I like to do that a lot of the time for efficiency. So, if you are new here, 
I would really like to recommend something to you. I have a YouTube channel. If you go to my page, you will see it under the link in my bio. Click on that and subscribe. I want, if you are new, I want you to make sure you watch my Q&A. It was from a couple days ago and it was called Cool Down Stretch and Q&A. I want you all to watch that. So it will help you understand my philosophy on health and fitness. So I am a former ballerina and a former fit model. I have a very unique philosophy on health and fitness. I overthought health and fitness for many, many years. And I finally realized I was doing it all wrong. And the simplest thing to do is to not overthink it. So I think you'll like what I have to say on my Q&A. Take a look at that and let me know your thoughts. Okay, we're going to pulse it out. Yup, you're feeling it. Chest is proud. We aren't are leaning. We're just bobbing up and down like a lure in the water. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Toes are up and down, up and down. This is so important that your form is upright here. I don't want this, because then guess what you're doing? You're not creating a long and lean look. That is the whole purpose of this entire workout, is to be long and lean, and to get those abs, and to get nice tall legs and arms without looking super bulky, okay? Feet together. Now we do the left leg, we go back and side, back. Now watch, I don't want you here. So I don't want you back and here. No, 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 I want you here and here. Quiet. Sorry guys. Pretend you have a glass of water on your head. Don't listen to Rookie. He's really annoying me right now. Let's go, eight, seven, you're feeling it. Stomach's tight, six. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Shake it out. All right, everybody, I'm going to add something here. I want you guys to give me some speed bags. Speed bags, you kick your butt with your heels and you pretend you're punching a bag. Three, two, one, let's move. Okay, your hands are not here. This is not a salsa move. Your hands are up, up, up. Look at my legs. Kick butt, kick butt, kick butt. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Move those arms. Sorry, I added on a little bit here. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Gorgeous. I did add on a little bit. That's all right. I just want a few reverse lunges now. Down, pulse it up. Alternate. Down, pulse it up. Use those arms so we punch it, punch it up. And we punch it, punch it up. Punch it, punch it up. Think about lengthening through. So I don't want you here. I want you, watch me, upright. So that butt should be really nice and under. Nice and under. Let's do two more. And then I'm gonna add one more exercise. And then I promise we're gonna go back to the other exercises. All right, everybody, I'm going to angle. You all should do the same. Diagonal, bring it out to a plank. All right. Okay, now planks, everybody. You're not here. You're here. Your butt is down. Give me 10 jacks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Butt down. 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold your plank. Give me mountain climbers. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Really, really nice. Time for those swimmers. Back down on your mat. 
mat. Woo! I am really kicking your butts today, aren't I? When you leave, when this quarantine is over, you all are going to walk outside and be in perfect bikini shape or, or whatever, board short shape, whatever. All right, give me those swimmers. Three, two, one, let's flow. Arms are straight, legs are straight. Your core is not moving, everybody. Core is not moving. Stomach straight on the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, three, one. Woo! Everybody up. Get on up. Okay. It's time to incorporate that kickboxing that we did, right? So that karate kick. So now we're going to kick with the left foot. The right foot is turned out. Okay. And we kick. Kick and curtsy. Kick and curtsy. I want you to think in this move about lifting up. So I want you to think about lifting up out of the leg. So up. So I don't want you to sink. I want you to be up and up. If you can't do this move, just tap it out, tap it in. Tap it out, tap it in. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five. Stomachs tight. Let's go. Four, three, two. Breathe. One, two. Okay. We know what's next. The front kick. So arms are up. And we kick it out. So remember, crunch the abs. You can bring that leg a little lower so that you force yourself to crunch the abs. No snapping the knees. I don't say kick and kick. No. This is a controlled movement, isometric. Isometric. That is how I operate. I do isometric moves that hit those muscle fibers, those tiny little muscle fibers that can make or break a good physique. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we know what's next. Your last exercise of the day. I'm sweating. Let's go. Fast feet in three, two, one. Let's flow. You can run the hand or you can jab it. Jab it. If you are jabbing it, hands up to the face. You can do jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Or jab and jab. Jab and jab. Let's go eight, seven. Faster feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Let's just stretch it out for a second. Beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing work. Let's all circle back. Get a sip of water. And then circle back with me. Now I'm telling you, like I said, you don't need to go to the gym to work out for an hour and a half. If you do the right movements and the right exercises, it's really not that hard. The same thing with your diet. Watch my Q&A. I'm happy to do another one. I love doing it. Shoot me a DM. Let me know what you thought about this workout. Let me know if you have any questions. I try to answer as many people as I possibly can. I love hearing from y'all. Um, the last thing at the end of a class, I always come back to the intention. So the intention today was unity. So we all are unified in the fact that we're going through this coronavirus, that we just did that amazing workout together. You guys are great, but let's take it a step further. I want you to remember that unity 
in your everyday life is so, so important. Remember that we're all in this life together. We're all in so many things together. Your neighbors are in this, are in, you know, your, your neighborhood together. We're all, like I said, very rarely alone. And when this whole coronavirus is over, please, please, please remember that. Remember that we are all unified and we're all one. We're all Americans. We're all, and when I say Americans, we all live. Well, actually, we're not all Americans. I have people tuning in from all over the, all over the world. What am I saying? Anyway, <laughs> we are all part of the earth and part of the world. So we are all unified as one. Thank you so much for joining today. Reminder, my YouTube, subscribe to it. It's at the link in my bio. You can watch all my workouts there. I will be back here at 4 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern time, 4 p.m. I hope you had fun. I sure did. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Have a great night. See you tomorrow.